Over the weekend, Dear White People premiered in New York, Los Angeles, Washington, and Atlanta. Next week, the edgy satire will play nationwide, completing a long and, in many ways, unlikely road to the silver screen. So this was based off of your actual experience on a college campus. That's where it started, you yeah. know? I mean, I started writing the script a while ago. 31-year-old director Justin Simeon says he took six years pinning the script for what is now a feature film, but the real buzz started with a concept trailer released more than two years ago, which Simeon reportedly paid for with a refund check. Yeah, boy, public enemy. Yo. Mm -mm. What? You guys get country clubs and we get to see. The obviously provocative trailer went viral and led to an Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign which raised more than $40,000 and lured in a Hollywood vet as executive producer. My daughter actually told me to go online and look at this uh, viral video. I called up Justin I said, how can I help? I have to be involved. Simeon says with the trailer having done so well and so many people excited about the project, it was almost nerve-wracking to finally make the film. When people saw the film for the first time, some of them would say, you know, oh my God, I've been supporting this movie for two years. And I was like, oh my God, well, I hope you like it. <laughs> I was really just hoping the film lived up to that fake version of the film. <laughs> and it seems to be doing just that, with praise coming in from all corners of the film industry. Dear White People received a stellar 97% collective rating on Rotten Tomatoes, and the New York Times writes of the film, It is as smart and fearless a debut as I have seen from an American filmmaker in quite some time. Knowing but not snarky, self-aware but not solipsistic, open to influence and confident in its own originality. Simeon and Roadside Pictures, who picked up the film, have kept the buzz going with creative shorts that have also gone viral, like The More You Know About Black People. If you start a sentence with, not to be racist, but, well, you probably shouldn't have started that sentence. The racially charged PSA vids for the film have racked up more than 2.3 million views total. As it stands, the film is available in 11 theaters in four cities, but raked in about $344,000 over the weekend. It remains to be seen how well the viral concept trailer turned national release will do around the country, but with all the previously mentioned hurdles cleared, many would argue, it's already a success. Dear White People opens nationwide Thursday. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrus.